Nature documentaries got you snoozing? We feel you. But hey, what if we told you there's a way to experience America's 10 most beautiful places that's less snooze fest and more epic adventure? We know beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and trust us, the U.S. has enough stunning landscapes to make everyone a beholder. This video is our guide to some of the most gorgeous places we've found. Think crystal clear lakes that look like Instagram filters come to life, hikes that'll make your followers drool with envy, and wildlife encounters so wild, you might just start believing in Bigfoot. Okay, maybe not, but hey, it's an adventure. This isn't an exhaustive list. The U.S. is bursting with breathtaking spots, but it's a start. So ditch the filters and join us as we explore the real deal. Ready to dive into the wild wonders of Glacier National Park? This place is seriously epic. Glacier National Park sits right on the border between Canada and Montana, and it's often called the crown of the continent because it's just that stunning. Now it's a natural wonderland with over 700 lakes, countless waterfalls, and two jaw-dropping mountain ranges spread over a million acres. If you love hitting the trails, this place is paradise with over 700 miles of trails to explore. But hey, hiking isn't the only way to enjoy Glacier National Park. Whether you're into camping under the stars, boating on crystal clear waters, or biking through scenic routes, there's something for everyone. And the views? Think snow-capped mountains and turquoise alpine lakes. Insta-worthy, right? The best time to visit? July and August, hands down. Sure, it's peak season, so things might be pricier, but all the park facilities are open. But if you're on a budget, consider visiting from November to April. The park is open all year, and off-season means lower lodging rates and entrance fees. Getting here is a breeze. Fly into Glacier Park International Airport, about 25 miles south of the park. Multiple airlines fly here, and you can grab a rental car from several major companies. Plus, there are plenty of shuttles and transport services from the airport to the park. No list of jaw-dropping places in the U.S. is complete without the one and only Grand Canyon. If you're looking for the most stunning spot in Arizona, this is it. The Grand Canyon is a legendary American destination, famous for its mind-blowing views of the Colorado River and those iconic red rock formations that seem to stretch on forever. For a whopping six million years, the Grand Canyon has been carved and expanded by the mighty Colorado River. Managed by the National Park Service and rocking its status as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Grand Canyon wows around four million visitors each year. Now, when's the best time to visit this natural wonder? Aim for March through May or September through November. The weather's cool, the crowds are lighter, and you'll have more room to breathe in the beauty. If you're planning a summer trip, brace yourself for throngs of tourists and scarce lodging options. Winter visits can be a bargain with lower hotel rates, but keep in mind that much of the park closes after the first snowfall. Want to skip the car rental and gas expenses? Use the Grand Canyon's free shuttle bus service. It's the easiest way to explore the South Rim without the parking hassle. If you're heading to the North Rim, driving is your best bet, but be sure to check the park's website for the latest on-road conditions and closures. Only have a day to spare? No worries. Consider signing up for an organized tour. Many top-notch Arizona tours offer fantastic day trips to the Grand Canyon. Many consider Big Sur to be one of the most sublime stretches of coastline in the USA encompassing state parks, wilderness areas, and famous tourist attractions. Found along California's central coast, Pacific Coast Highway, was built less than 100 years ago and is the main road that runs through the region and becomes the most scenic in Big Sur. Sitting high above the surf, the highway clings to the edge of the area's cliffs, providing spectacular views as it weaves in and out of the seemingly endless coastline. With more than 300 days of sunshine per year, Big Sur's peak season runs long from April to October. However, once August passes, crowds start to disperse and high temperatures inland start to drop, leaving more room for visitors to wander on the coast in the mountains. Independent art galleries dot the highway, sharing space with wellness retreats and cliffside eateries. But the diverse landscape trumps all of the area's amenities by a landslide, with state parks and beaches reigning supreme as the main attractions. Picture this, high above Jackson Hole, Wyoming, 
stand the rugged, snow-capped peaks of the majestic Teton Range, a sight to behold at Grand Teton National Park. This park isn't just for mountaineers and photographers. In winter, there's cross-country skiing and snowshoeing, while summer beckons hikers of all levels to explore hidden waterfalls and breathtaking views of the Tetons. And let's not forget the Snake River, where kayakers and rafters alike can find their thrills. When's the best time to go? Mid-May to late September is prime time, with everything from visitor centers to hiking trails open and accessible. But even October brings its own kind of magic, with warm sunshine or the early hints of winter painting the landscape. Now, how do you get around this outdoor paradise? By car, of course. Not only does it give you the freedom to explore at your own pace, but for a minimal entrance fee, your vehicle gets you into the park for a full seven days. Ready to check out Crater Lake, the deepest lake in the US? This place is seriously epic, with depths reaching a jaw-dropping 1,949 feet. Born from a volcanic explosion 6,000 to 8,000 years ago, and now fed by snow and rain, Crater Lake is the definition of nature's masterpiece. There are tons of radways to explore this spot and its surrounding ancient forests. Think trails leading to mind-blowing viewpoints, gentle waterfalls, and some of the coolest snowshoeing adventures in the state. So, when's the best time to hit up Crater Lake? July, August, and September are your go-to months. That's when everything's open, from the roads to the trails and all the park facilities. But if you want a more chill vibe, try visiting in May, June, or October. Planning your trip depends on your vibe. If you're all about hiking, July through October is perfect. Love the snow? Then December through May is your jam. Fun fact, Crater Lake gets over 40 feet of snow each year, making it one of the snowiest places in the U.S. The park is open year-round, but keep in mind that many key roads and attractions are only open for a few months. Get ready to rock and roll at Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah, home to the craziest collection of rock columns you've ever seen. These funky formations, carved by nature's awesome power, are like stepping into a real-life fantasy world. Strap on your hiking boots and head to Bryce Viewpoints for insta-worthy snaps and jaw-dropping panoramas. And in the winter? It's all about shredding the slopes on snowshoes or cross-country skiing. Now, let's talk weather. Bryce Canyon's got some serious mood swings, especially in fall, winter, and spring. So, be sure to check the forecast on the National Weather Service website before you hit the road. The best times to visit? May through September is when the party's poppin', but October through April brings its own chill vibes with fewer crowds and cooler temperatures. And guess what? Bryce Canyon is open 24-7, 365 days a year, so you can adventure whenever the mood strikes. Getting around is a breeze with the free shuttle system running from April through late October. But if you're rolling up outside those months, grab your wheels and hit the road. Oh, and heads up, there's no public transport to the park, so make sure you've got your ride sorted. Get ready to dive into the epicness that is Yellowstone National Park, a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. With its majestic peaks, crystal clear lakes, and bubbling hot springs, this place is like stepping into a real life adventure movie. First up, we've got the iconic Old Faithful, shooting geysers and steaming hot springs. Talk about nature's fireworks show, and who can forget the jaw-dropping Grand Prismatic Spring? This bad boy is the largest hot spring in the U.S. and the third largest in the world. Picture a rainbow-colored pool that's deeper than a 10-story building and bigger than a football field. Mind-blowing, right? Now, when's the best time to visit? Late April to May and September through early October are prime time. Mild weather, fewer crowds, and minimal road closures. But if you're all about that summer adventure, July and August are suitable for you. Warm weather means camping under the stars and soaking up every moment of outdoor bliss. So bundle up and get ready for some seriously cool adventures. Ready to explore? The best way to get around Yellowstone is by car. No public transport? No problem. Just be prepared for some parking challenges, especially during peak times.
buckle up for the ride of a lifetime along the epic 469-mile Blue Ridge Parkway. Starting in Virginia and winding through about 250 miles of stunning Western North Carolina, this road is consistently hailed as one of America's top drives. And trust us, it lives up to the hype. Picture this, a scenic route that's basically one big Instagram-worthy overlook. As you cruise through verdant forests, hiding twinkling streams and cascading waterfalls, you'll feel like you're living in a postcard. And did we mention access to the area's best hiking trails? Yeah, it's basically an outdoor lover's dream come true. The best part? Exploring the Blue Ridge Parkway won't cost you a dime. That's right, it's totally free with no admission fee. And with the parkway open 24-7, 365 days a year. Just keep in mind that Mother Nature might throw a curveball with snow or ice closures, so check the conditions before you hit the road. Oh, and here's a fun fact. Keep an eye out for those stone markers at every mile along the parkway. They're like your own personal guide to top attractions and overlooks. Yosemite National Park packs a mighty punch. This California gem boasts nearly 1,200 square miles of jaw-dropping scenery, towering waterfalls, ancient sequoia trees, heart-stopping cliffs, and rock formations unlike anything else in the U.S. Here's the thing about Yosemite. Timing your visit is key. May and September are the sweet spots. The park is accessible, but the crowds haven't quite reached peak season. Heads up though, many roads and trails get blanketed in snow from October to March, making them off limits. Pro tip, check the park website before your trip. Another thing to consider is park entry reservations. These are required on certain days between 5 a.m. and 4 p.m., so plan accordingly. Summertime in Yosemite is magical, but it's also super popular. If that's your only window, book everything Think Campsites and lodging well in advance. Yosemite campsites are known to disappear faster. Getting around Yosemite is easiest with a car, but during peak season, the park's free shuttle service is your best friend. Summer traffic can be brutal, and parking lots near popular trails fill up in a flash. The shuttles can save you a ton of time and frustration if you're not keen on early mornings to snag a parking spot. Lake Tahoe, the crown jewel of the Sierra Nevada, isn't your average lake. This massive, crystal clear beauty, formed millions of years ago by glaciers, straddles the California-Nevada border, beckoning over 15 million visitors a year. Why the hype? Picture this towering granite cliffs framing a lake so clear it looks like a giant sapphire. No wonder it's known as one of America's most stunning bodies of water. The Nevada side shimmers with casinos and resorts, while Tahoe City and South Lake Tahoe offer a more peaceful vibe with tons of family-friendly activities. So, when's the best time to visit? Here's the Tahoe secret. Shoulder seasons that are March to May and September to November offer the best bang for your buck with fewer crowds and fantastic weather. Craving some sunshine? July and August are peak season with the shores buzzing with beach umbrellas. As temperatures drop, the crowds return, this time with skis strapped on, ready to conquer the slopes. Visit in early March or early to mid-November to experience the beauty without breaking the bank. A car is your best bet. With over 70 miles of shoreline, having your own wheels will give you the freedom to explore every corner of this majestic lake. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more travel inspiration. Until next time, happy traveling.